I don't know if y'all have noticed, but there has been a growing trend of evil eyes all over social media, especially on Instagram bios and TikTok bios of a lot of girls, mainly girls, I've noticed. And at first I was like, what does the evil eye even represent us here? Um, it has been found through thousands of years of history across cultures, including in Latin America and parts of Asia. The symbol most often depicted as four con concentric circles in the shape of, of an eye is used to ward off variations of evil intentions. So... I am. I started wondering, like, why is there so many people that are posting this on their Instagram, you know, or TikTok? It's because they are trying to ward off the spirits that wanna cause evil against them. But when I, when they put this in their bios, it's crazy because it's actually the opposite. You're legit putting. You're you're inviting something that is not from God into your your being into your social media page, which affects you. Because I'm be honest, y'all. Like the spiritual world is definitely in social media. I know that might seem like a far reach, but TikTok, Instagram is definitely being controlled by spirits, um, by certain things in the spiritual world that we do not see. Um, especially nowadays, we see we we start stalking a lot of Instagram pages. You know, we stalk our exes. Um, there's so much bad things that happen through social media and because of it. So the devil uses social media to get him more glory and to get people to follow after him and when we put things such as the evil eye in our bios we are allowing the devil's protection to come over our lives which means that we are abandoning god's protection and the devil if you guys don't know he is two-faced he got two faces. He has one where he's the angel of lie, pretending to be this amazing person. Um, um, you know, he's an amazing spirit. He's gonna protect you. He's gonna love you. But then when you get so comfortable and so safe with him, he turns on you and completely changes his face and shows you that he's actually evil and out to get you. But then by then it's it's too late because you were already, you know, have chosen to follow the devil and you have gone to hell. But God, he's telling you the truth. He wants you for himself and he doesn't want you to invite these evil spirits in. And the Bible talks about um, allowing... You know, you're putting your trust in mediums and witches. And this is, is an example of a verse. It says, therefore, this is what the Lord, what the sovereign Lord says. I am against your magic charms with which you ens ensnare people like birds. And I will tear them from your arms. I will set free the people that you ens ensnare like birds. So I am against your magical charms. And that is the evil eye. And what God means by that is that he does not want you to have confidence that this evil eye, this emoji that you put on your bio or this piece of jewelry that you put around your neck to defend you. That this piece of jewelry has more power than his spirit and prayer. And I know that might seem like such a far reach. People might, it might be very innocent, but the devil wants you to believe that these things are innocent, but there is spiritual consequences to putting your faith in stuff like this, in the evil eye, in the angel numbers, because these things go against God's word. It says, I am against your magic charms. What do you think the evil eye is? It's a magic charm that we use to protect ourselves. And God of the Bible says that he is against that. And if we choose to disobey, you know, after watching this video and not and, and choosing to not take those things out of our bios, out of our lives and throw away certain objects that, you know, go against um, what the Bible says. If we if we choose to put our trust in jewelry, put our trust in these false gods over Jesus, then that means we're choosing to put our trust in the devil because everything that is not for Jesus is for the devil. There is only two kingdoms in this world. There is the kingdom of God and the kingdom of 
the dark of darkness which is the kingdom of the devil there's only two there's no in between don't let anyone fool you or make you think that because this evil eye is not protecting you even having a cross around your neck is not protecting you even if you put your faith in having like the cross jewelry you know as a necklace that is not going to protect you it's jesus himself who chooses to protect you in situations that are in his will and if they're not it's because god has another plan for you we have to have faith that god's plan is is perfect and that if we are in prayer that God will protect us from the harm and the evils of the devil and not put our faith in jewelry or even you know a lot of times um especially the cross we, we wear the cross as well as protection and I know some people wear it as like a reminder which I think is great you know I have a necklace that's it's a cross but um I see especially in Catholicism people will still have Jesus there but Jesus is not no longer on the cross he ha he has resurrected and he is watching over us he's not on the cross anymore and people put you know put it there for their protection but Jesus just because you have a cross on doesn't mean that god's going to protect you if you are doing things outside of god's will he is not going to protect you because you have walked outside of his will just because you have this cross on so don't put your faith in objects don't put your faith in these superstitions um and i, I know that for some people they are traditions but the bible says why break my law for the sake of your tradition and unfortunately, with a lot of our cultures, especially Latin culture, it even says in Asia, all kinds of cultures, they go against God's word. And we have to break that, even if it's been in our tradition for, for our family for generations, because those are generational curses that God wants to take out of our lives. And we must love God before anything, before we love any tradition, before we love anybody in our lives, because... um. The Bible says, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. So if you choose to love the world more than you love God, then that means that you don't have love for the Father, which is God. And you are choosing to break His command by putting your faith in these magical charms that God has told us to, to not put our faith in. And to trust solely in him. But yeah, I just think it's interesting that there has been an increase in a evil eye all over social media. Um, I see it everywhere. Like I, I, um, I go through TikTok and I see like the name of a person and then I see the evil eye attached right next to it. Or I click on someone's um, page and there's already an evil eye there, you know, and there's so much spirituality, these emojis. And it's very unfortunate that a lot of people are choosing to believe in stuff like this instead of believing in the God of the Bible. But that's why I make these videos to, to show people that we have to put our faith in God. And that if you are a Christian and you are also having the evil eye um, and you believe in that stuff, you need to you need to get rid of it. You need to get rid of it. There's no if, ands, or buts. You need to get rid of it and follow the follow God and only put your trust in Him. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this, y'all, and I'm out.